Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. This is Allie. Today we're gonna to be talking about 12 ways that you can save money on your next Disney cruise. All right, let's get into it. Let's start with the obvious here. Disney cruises are very expensive compared to other family-friendly cruise lines like Norwegian, Carnival, and Royal Caribbean. You do get a lot for your money though, including fabulous Disney entertainment, character meet and greet opportunities, thoughtful cabins that work great for families, and a friendly, helpful crew on board. Even so, if you wanna get the most of your Disney cruise vacation budget, you will need to find ways to cut costs. Try these 12 different ways to save money on a Disney cruise so that you can take your family on a memorable Disney vacation at sea. Number one is to book early. Disney has no trouble selling out its small fleet of ships. When the cruise line opens bookings a year more in advance, it starts with its lowest cruise fares. As the ship slowly starts to sell out, the prices will go up. Booking early will not only get you the best available price, but it also gives you more choice of which cabin types or locations you want to book. Number two is to book a guarantee cabin. Should a certain sailing or cabin category not sell as quickly as expected, Disney will start opening up guarantee fares. These rates are slightly cheaper, but you only get to choose your cabin type and not the specific location. The fares require you to pay in full, and so they're not refundable, and they may come with other restrictions. If you're looking for the cheapest way to get on board though, the rewards likely will outweigh the risks of a guarantee fare. Number three is to look at Disney's deal page. The Disney Cruise Line website has a special offer section where it lists the occasional targeted deals. These can be promotions aimed at a certain group of people such as Florida residents or active duty military or deals on particular sailing dates and cabin types. The deals don't come around often though, but it's still worth checking in case you can catch one that works for you and will save you money on your Disney cruise. The deals on this page might also be for guarantee fares, so make sure that you read that fine print before you book one. Number four is to book a short cruise. Disney's Bahamas and Caribbean cruises come in three, four, or seven night itineraries. If you can't afford a full week of vacation, try booking a shorter cruise to save money. The per night rates are still very high, but it will cost you less in total vacation costs to sail for just three days compared to double that. Short cruises are also a great cruising sampler option if you're not sure that you'll like a cruise vacation or maybe you're worried about getting seasick. If you love it, and odds are that you will, you can always save up for and book a longer sailing date later. Number five is to book in the off peak time. People will travel on Disney cruises year round and they don't mind pulling their kids out of school to do so. So you won't be finding any drastic price differences between high and low travel seasons on Disney. Plus Disney will theme slower fall or January sailings with holiday activities or Star Wars or Marvel days at sea to entice travelers to book. Even still, you can find slightly lower fares during less popular travel times, which is often during the fall. It's worth reconsidering your travel dates to skip those school week vacations and cruise off season instead. Number six is to get a Disney Visa card. The Disney Visa card is a no fee credit card that earns you points that can be spent on Disney vacations and products. For every dollar spent, you can earn 1% in Disney rewards dollars. You can redeem these points for Disney cruise packages, souvenirs, and onboard activities. The Disney Premier Visa card earns 2% on select purchases, and you can redeem your reward dollars for air travel as well as Disney vacations and merchandise. However, this card carries an annual fee, so you'll need to make sure that you can earn more than you spend to justify the card. Card members also receive special discounts on select onboard purchases as well as Disney store and Disney theme park shopping and dining. Number seven is to work the gift card deals. If you're planning a Disney cruise vacation, tell all of your friends and family to buy you Disney gift cards for a birthday and Christmas presents. You can purchase your cruise through Disney with gift cards. Even better, you can buy yourself gift cards at a discount if you know where to look. The internet is awash in discussions of just discount Disney gift cards. Basically, the main venues are warehouse stores such as BJ's and Sam's Club, which routinely sell Disney gift cards at a slightly discounted rate, which is around 4%. Or if you have a Target red card, you can get 5% off all purchases, including non-Target gift card purchases. Purchase enough gift cards to pay for your cruise and you'll save four to 5% of the cost of your vacation. However, this advice comes with a caveat. To use the gift cards, you have to book your cruise through Disney directly. However, you might find a cruise fare that's cheaper through a travel agent or online seller. Even another warehouse store like Costco can have low cruise prices. You won't be able to pay those with Disney gift cards, so keep that in mind. Number eight is to use a travel agent. 
Contrary to what you might believe, travel agents don't charge you to use their services. They do, however, have the inside track on how to get you the best vacation for less. They can help you find sale dates with lower prices or ocean view cabins that are actually cheaper than windowless versions. Plus, travel agents often negotiate lower rates and provide extra perks to their clients. You might get a better overall vacation deal than you would by booking through Disney directly. Travel agents aren't the only folks who can answer the phone at AAA or have a brick and mortar store down front. Plenty of online travel sellers can offer discounts on cruises as well. As we said earlier, warehouse stores like Costco often have really good Disney cruise packages or reward bookings with gift cards to their store. Definitely shop around and compare prices to get the best deal on a Disney cruise. Number nine is to bring your own Mickey and Disney gear. Shoppers on board a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean are the epitome of a captive audience. You can expect to pay premium prices for Mickey dolls, t-shirts, and other products sold on board your ship. And you know that your kids, who are caught up in the 24-7 Disney hype, will be begging you for those souvenirs. Save some money by bringing your own souvenirs and presenting them throughout the cruise. Look for Disney-themed toys and clothing that can be available at Target or Kohl's. You can also ask your local community if they have any Mickey ears from previous trips or princess costumes that their kids have outgrown. You could even score Disney swag for cheap or free. Look on Etsy as well for those personalized Disney gear options. Number 10 is to make your own costumes. Even when it's not Halloween, costumes are always acceptable clothing on a Disney cruise. If your little princess or pirate demands to dress up every day on board, you can easily bust your budget by buying those costumes. Save money by making your own. For pirate night, tie an old bandana around your head and a red scarf around your waist, make an eye patch from construction paper and string, and cut up the bottom and sleeves of a white or striped shirt for that outlaw chic look. Capture the essence of Snow White with a dark blue shirt, a yellow skirt, and a red hair bow. Look for dresses at Goodwill or the thrift store that you can accessorize into a Disney ball gown. And if you can sew, you can consider hitting up the craft store to work your magic. Number 11 is to stick with the free activities. The expenses don't stop once you've paid for your Disney cruise. There are plenty of onboard temptations to your wallet from princess teas and makeovers to adult only gourmet dinners. The easiest way to save money is to just say no. Meals at several themed restaurants are included in your fare, so eat there and save parent date night for another week. For example, dinner at Disney's Remy starts at $125 per person. Skip the professional princess or pirate makeovers and do your own hair, makeup, and dress up in your cabin. You'll find plenty of free activities on board, such as impromptu run-ins with your favorite Disney characters, original musical performances in the theater at night, and playtime in the kids club or in the pool and water slides. Get your ice cream and desserts with meals and not at the extra fee sweet shops. Bring your own wine and beer and consume it in your cabin, not at dinner. Take your own photos. You'll find plenty of perfect backdrops on board and import, so you can skip those professional portraits with a fake seascape in the background. And finally, number 12, book your next cruise on board. Did you love your Disney cruise so much that you want to book another one? If you book your next cruise while you're on board, you can get a discount off the cruise fare for your next sailing. The promotion offers 10% off of most cruises, 50% off seven night or longer cruises in select cabins are available as well, or $100 to $200 in onboard credit for concierge staterooms. Once home, you can transfer your booking to your favorite travel agent. All right, everybody, those are our best tips for you to save money on your next Disney cruise. Comment below if you are a loyal Disney cruiser and whether you found any of these tips particularly helpful. Also feel free to share any tips below that you have found helpful for ways to save money on a Disney cruise. Thanks for watching everybody and until next time, happy cruising.